One of the most common questions we get asked at Bayma is, how do you start a discussion group? Um, and, and this video will try to point out a bunch of things that are helpful to you, but we are not going to overthink this, okay? So one thing we're not going to do is make this complicated. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the description of this video a link to, um, uh, to a groups tab. So if you go to the baymadiscipleship.com web, web page, one of the tabs that we have is a groups tag. And, and if you have any questions about groups, I would familiarize yourself with that tab. It's got a map of all of our groups that we currently have. Um, you can reach out and let us know that you're going to start a group. We can put you on the map if you'd like to. We can put you on the map if you simply want to start a group but don't have anybody to meet with. Um, the other thing you're going to find at that tab is you're going to find a link to uh, a PDF that's simply a one-page guide to help you start a group. Um, that guide is not very in-depth. It's not um, complex. Uh, it's very, very simple. And that's because starting a group should, in a lot of ways, be that simple. So if you want to start a discussion group, it's, it's this easy. Um, find some other people to have a discussion with. Figure out when you want to meet. Figure out where you want to meet. And then do it. So you're going to take the podcast. You're going to listen to episodes. And there's a million ways to do it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Some people listen to one episode a week. Some people listen to multiple episodes every week. And then you get together and you talk about those episodes. You usually, you usually listen to the same episodes together. Um, so you might listen to these three episodes this week. And then we'll get together and have a discussion group about it. Um, and and that's, as, that's as easy as it is. We don't, don't make this any more complicated than it needs to be. You don't have to communicate with us. We don't oversee the groups. We don't police those groups at all. We simply facilitate the connections but everything else is simply organic. So it's simply about you creating a group that works for you and the people that you want to meet meet with. Um, there's no right or wrong ways. Every group is unique. Every group has a unique context. Every group, some groups like to meet um, online, digitally. Some groups like to meet in person. They like to eat dinner first and then meet. Like they love to spend three hours in an evening together. Some groups like to make it really short and concise and get together and have that conversation. Some people listen to the episode together at group. Some people listen to the episode before they get to group. There are so many things that have been done and so many things that work for everybody. Um, and there's no one idea that works. There's no one universal experience that works for everyone. We're all different. We all want different things. We're all looking for different things. Every group has its own personality. You have to find what works for your group. But whatever you do, don't make it complicated. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. That's our. That's my first. Um, uh, that's my first piece of advice. The other thing that I would say, the most important thing that you need to know about, is simply to watch the show notes for every episode. Watch the show notes for every episode if you want to start a group. If you get a discussion group started, almost everything you need for that episode, for that for that discussion that week, is going to be in your show notes. Now, some people have a hard time finding the show notes. What are you talking about, show notes? What does that, what does that mean? So we have, if, if that's you, I will put another link in the description of this video that takes you to our subscribe tab. And on that tab, we have a list of frequently asked questions. And, and the first question that's on that list is, where do I find the show notes? And Brent has designed some graphics to show you typically where those show notes are. They're going to be in your podcast player. If you listen on your phone to your podcast, those show notes are going to be in your app somewhere. Um, if you're on our website, the show notes are just hyperlinked at the very bottom of the episode page. At the bottom of every episode page, there's a whole bunch of links. Here's some of the things that you're going to find in those links. You're going to find a discussion video, what's called a discussion video. That video is a group resources video that I designed to basically get you started for what I would do if I were leading a discussion. So your, your, your context is going to be unique. I don't know what your group is going to need. I don't know whether or not your group is full of mixed ages or if it's young people or old people. I don't know if you live in the United States or if you live in South America. Or I, I don't know those things. So what I do is I just kind of say, here's what this episode is about. Here's some of the questions that we got about this episode, if there are any. And here's the things that if I were going to talk about this episode, I would have, 
I would try to lead the conversation in these directions. And then from there, you can kind of create exactly what you want your discussion to look like, what you want your questions to be. That's going to be one of the most helpful resources in your show notes. So there's that. Um, there's transcripts for, we're, we're, we're working more and more and more through our transcripts. You can find transcripts in our show notes. You can find resource recommendations. Any resource that we recommended or referenced in that episode, you're going to find a link to that, to that episode there. Um, what else are you going to find in the show notes? You're going to find everything you need to find as a discussion group facilitator is going to be there in your show notes. All the goodies that are going to make this make this happen. The most important piece for me, probably right now, is that discussion video um, for every episode. That's going to probably be your most helpful. We are considering creating even some more resources that we currently don't have, but we may start creating some new resources, maybe even later this year. Um, and if we do, if there's any resources that we've created to help you, they're going to be in those show note those show notes link links there. So make sure you check that out. That's the thing you need to be familiar with. So I'll put a couple of those links in the um, in the description of this video. Um, two two rules: don't make this complicated. It's simple. How do I start a discussion group? Find some people to talk with, figure out when you want to meet, figure out where you want to meet, and just go do it. And figure out what works for you all as a group. Um, as far as like, okay, but what, what, what about the discussion itself? Pay attention to those show notes and any kind of ideas that we have, any resources we have to help you are going to be linked there in the show notes. So those two big ideas, those are our takeaways. The starting a discussion group is that easy. You can let us know that you're starting a group and we can put you on the map. You don't have to let us know. You can just start a group. Um, you don't need our permission. You can just do it. Uh, you can listen to the podcast and talk about it with other people and you don't have to go through any gatekeepers. So feel free to do that. If there's anything that's helpful, we hope to put it there. And, um, yeah, thanks for asking those questions. Thanks. Thanks for wanting to start a discussion, a discussion group. Thanks for engaging the content in such a way that it would even lead you to ask that question. We hope that it's a beneficial time and that God uses these tools as resources to help you on your 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 journey of faith. <laughs>